person. You show you love by helping you out. You know, paying, paying it for you. You pay me back or just paying it for you. Just, just because, right? So how can we show God love? Christ said, if you love me, keep God's commandments, right? Our women are supposed to wear dresses with a border blue and modest dresses. Because we know sometimes when our sisters go to the club, the, a lot of them dresses don't be modest. If you got to come out and you got a sister, if she got to come out and she always got to do this, you know what I'm saying? Why not just wear a longer dress instead of pulling it down so your butt cheeks don't come out? You see what I'm saying? Because they know, it's some in their spirit that know, okay, my butt cheeks ain't supposed to be out. Even though I picked this dress and I might like this dress, but it is too short. That's why I'm standing tugging on it because I want it to come down so I'm not fully exposed, right? Uh, us as human beings, right? Like if I know that you're down, right? You can't pay your rent, you can't pay your car no, you need some help in, in any, you know what I'm saying, any direction, I as a person can show you love by helping you out, you know, paying it, paying it for you, and you pay me back, or just paying it for you just, just because, right? So how can we show God love? Okay, what you say, little sis? You don't know? We're gonna show you. What, what about you, bro? I would say, like, you said, I'm being God's mom. And, like, spreading his word. I feel like spreading his word is so important. You know, the commandment. Especially, like, your friends. Because, you know, everybody comes from different backgrounds. You know? mm -hmm. So I feel like it's very important to share with your friends that feel about God. And you got it. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you. Check this out. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. So we know when, when Christ is speaking, the letters is written in what color? We over the Bible in a while. It's okay. Wait. What color you got? If Christ is speaking in the Bible, his own direct words. Oh, it's red. It's red, right? So these words are red right here. So we know that this is Jesus Christ speaking right now, right? Read. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So Christ said, if you love me, keep God's commandments, right? Read. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort, uh -huh. that he may abide with you forever. And that's when we find our comfort. When we going through things, we find our comfort in keeping God's commandments. Because we know if we do that, God will bless us, right? Right? So give me some commandments. Give me the fringes. So let me show y'all something real quick. So did you know it was a dress code according to the Bible for men and women? Like we know they say God lost is done away with, but that's not true. That's not true. Give me uh, Matthew 5 first. Matthew 5, you know what I want? So let me show you that. So read that, Matthew 5. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So these words are written in red as well. Christ said, think not that I have come to destroy the law. Read. Or the prophet. Or the prophets, the man that taught the law. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So what did Christ come to fulfill? He came to fulfill the sacrificial law and the things that was written of him. Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So it says one jot or one tittle should not pass from the law. So we still supposed to be keeping God's laws to the day. The dress code, the dietary law, you see what I'm saying? These things are still in effect. And God said, if you keep these things, then you love me, right? Now give me uh, what you was holding. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. So we'll go over the dress code real quick, right? We're going to go through the dress code, the dietary law, because we all want God to love us, right? We all want to show God that we love him, right? So this is how we do it. Read that. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. So it says, speak unto the children of Israel. According to the Bible, the children of Israel went into slavery on cargo slave ships. That's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. It says, speak unto these children and tell them to do what? That bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. So that's why when you see the brothers out here, every brother have fringes on their garments, right? And our wives and kids, they wear fringes on their garments as well, right? So let's go into the dress code for the women first. Go to uh, Timothy. 
So God says a dress code. First thing, first, we gotta wear fringes and a border of blue on our on our garments, right? So now how, how are garments supposed to look according to well, when we're dealing with women, right? So let me show you that, read it. The book of First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. And like manner also, that women are adorned themselves in modest apparel. So it says that women are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel with their fringes and border of blue, right? It says modest apparel. So what's modest apparel? What's modesty? Because that thing, it, 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 modesty really don't be talked about no more when it concerns our women. What's modesty? What about you, sis? You know what modesty is? What about you, bro? Modesty. What's modesty? What is that to, what is that, what does that word mean today? You don't know? What about you, young brother? Dressing proper. Dressing proper, okay, I like that. So it means to be covered. That's what modesty means, to be covered, right? Read that. And like manner also, that women adore themselves and modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold. So it says our sisters are supposed to dress modestly in long dresses, right? Now give me Deuteronomy 22. So it says our women are supposed to wear fringes with a border of blue and modest dresses. Because we know sometimes when our sisters go to the club, the, a lot of them dresses don't be modest. If you got to come out and you got a sister, if she got to come out and she always got to do this, you know what I'm saying? Why not just wear a longer dress instead of pulling it down so your butt cheeks don't come out. You see what I'm saying? Because they know, it's some in their spirit that know, okay, my butt cheeks ain't supposed to be out. Even though I picked this dress and I might like this dress, but it is too short. That's why I'm standing tugging on it because I want it to come down so I'm not fully exposed, right? <laughs> Right, so read that right there. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse five. The woman, chapter so we talking about the woman, right? So we still talking about the dress code. We are gonna talk about the man in this scripture as well too. Read it. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what's something today that women wear that pertain to men? Short dresses, Short dresses pertain mean belong to. Oh, belong to. So what's something that uh, women wear today that belong to men? We're going to come back to you. What you got, little sis? You don't know? What, what about you, bro? Like draws. Draws? <laughs> okay. It's something that's, that can be seen on the outside, right? What you got, old school? I know you got it. Pants. 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 Because think about it, right? Remember he showed y'all the curses, right? We went into slavery on ships. We picked cotton in the fields, right? He showed y'all that. In these fields, where, where is it? Where is it? It's on that one. It's on this one? Yes. Okay, so if you look, I don't see it on here, bro. But I can just tell you, in slavery, right? Mm -hmm. our, our sisters, our mothers, our foremothers, what was they, what was they dress code? What did they wear? They wear long dresses. Even in slavery, they wear long dresses. When they was out there picking that cotton, in the winter, in the winter time they was working, in the summertime they was working, they always had long dresses on, right? So because they understood, a lot of people like to think that we have evolved and got sm we're smarter than our ancestors than the slaves. No, we're not. We're not. You can leave a slave in the woods and they go, they'll survive. Today, we will not survive. We will not survive. Right, so, but they understood that they were supposed to wear dresses as women, right? So read it from the top again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So our sisters, our beautiful sisters, they are not supposed to wear what pertains to a man, which is pants, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And it says a man should not put on a woman's garment. A man should not put on a dress. A man should not put on a skirt. And we seeing it a lot today, are we not? We seeing it. We are seeing our, uh, our athletes wearing dresses. You know what I'm saying? Some of the brothers that's in these acting roles in the movies, they're wearing dresses. But God said, that's what? For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. And God says, everybody that does that is an abomination to him. Right? So do you understand? Go, go to uh, Revelations, I think it's 21. 
with all the abominations that, that outside the gate. You know what I'm talking about? So God said, if you do that thing, if you violate that law right there, not only do you hate me, but it's an I see it as a disgusting thing. It's an abomination. Let me ask you this. You pulled up to the stop sign, right? And you was like, look, I'm going to come right back. We hear that a lot. A lot of people don't come back. But I'm glad you came back. But you said, I'm going to come. I'm going to do something. I'm going to come right back. If we had dresses on out here, would you have come back? If we had, I, I, I was if we had dresses out here, would you have come back? <laughs> Be honest. Came back. You, you know, would have came back? You have to see. If you, you if, if that brother that stopped you at the car had makeup on his face, dress on, you know what I'm saying, all that, everything that belongs to a woman, you would have came back? <laughs> you would have came back, sis. You would have came back. Read that right there, because remember, God says it's an abomination to him. So everybody want to get the kingdom of heaven out here, right? Raise your hand if you want to get the kingdom of heaven. So let's, let me show you something. Read this. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 27. And thou shall in no wise enter anything that thou followest, neither whatsoever work of abomination. So this is the kingdom of heaven. God said you cannot what? Read it in front of the top again. And thou shall in no wise enter into anything that thou followest, Neither whatsoever worketh abomination. So if you work in abomination, as a man, if you were in a dress, as a woman, if you were in pants, God said you're working abomination and you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is